Welcome back to another update, friends and family. This is the update I've actually been waiting for. Sorry for delaying videos for all the subscribers. I've been in the process of moving out of my own place, but now we're back on track. So yes, this is the update I've been waiting for. Ever since the data mining, we knew that some of the Spider-Verse characters were coming, and we knew that a lot of spiders are coming, and Move was going to be back in play, and I cannot wait. A lot of them have Move and Destruction functions, so Move Destruction deck might actually be a thing for the future. But without further ado, let's get right into the video, and let's actually see about these updates. Excitement. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we in Brooklyn? Hey. Miles! Oh, throwback Miles, too. <laughs> New season Spider-Verse. Spider-Man and Miles Morales, we got them. Ghost Spider, finally, Silk is coming. Yes, the movement is here. No Miguel Mojera, though. I didn't show him yet. So he's coming at a later date? Hey, everybody, it's Ben Brode, and wow, do I have a scoop for you. My Ooh. sources tell me a new season of Marvel Snap is upon us, and it's called spider Versus. No need spider to bury the lead here. This month's season pass card is Ghost Spider. Moves the last card you played Yes. To her. Web yank your cards yes. across the multiverse, which will help you trigger extra yes. buffs on old favorites like Human Torch and Vulture, or rescue Let's cards see. lost yeah. to a losing position on locations like The Kill or The Vault. That's so dope. Even cards I love her animation. Right. Breaking news. This just in. There's, there's, there's information on the side, too. We're going to go through that. Spider versus Miles Morales, Spider Man. And like you won't that. see this exclusive in those other rags. It's Ghost Spider 2099. Really? And that's not all. Make sure to clip these awesome variants out when they launch. Random. Mm -hmm. Venomized Ghost Spider. Oh, wow. Another Ghost Spider. Got a lover. Electro. Venomized Silk. Wait a minute. Silk? Silk? Yeah. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Hot off the presses. Silk is just one of several new cards that you won't yep, want to Spider -Man, miss. Spider-Man, Green Knight, Knight, and Spider-Ham. Silk has the most finely tuned spider sense of anyone who has spider powers. That is true. Her ability is that after any card is played where she is, she moves to another location. With great power comes great mobility. Silk can rocket across the board turn after turn. She can swing into Kun Lun for plus two power over and over. Wow. Or sneak into locations like Sanctum Sanctorum that are otherwise wow. to access. There's a bunch of other great cards launching this season, including Spider-Man 2099. Yeah. Also known as Miguel O'Hara. Yeah. He's an ultimate Spider-Man from the future who's here to tear fools up. Mm -hmm. The first time he moves to a location, you'll destroy an enemy card there. This card uh -huh. might be the most dangerous addition to a move deck. Is there only Use once? Iron Fist to spring a surprise attack. Or uh. drop Ghost Spider after 2099 to fire a targeted uh. web blast at your opponent's toughest card. Just the threat of his attack might be enough to snap your enemy into a uh. retreat. He's also a great counter to Magneto. Uh. Spider Hand. Originally a spider named Peter, he turned into a pig after being bitten by an irradiated oh, yeah, pig. pig. Now, yeah. He transforms the highest cost card in your opponent's hand into a pig, but it keeps huh. its power and cost. This wow. disruptive card can swing way above its weight class. Wow. Smack your opponent's highest cost card, transforming it into an anthropomorphic pig, minus the superpowers. He's a great tool against Apocalypse, Dr. Lit. Doom, and Galactus, turning them into useless Lit. strips of bacon. However, He's not so great against the infinite. Mm, but not, no. And this isn't gotcha That's a strong journalism. Ass pink. We print the truth. Cold hard facts. That's lit. We have confirmation that two new locations will be added to Marvel Snap this season. So get those decks ready for Aunt Aunt May. May. The first card you play here gets plus three power. Hey. That first card Move probably is won't back, be baby. by curfew. The Great Web. After each Visit turn, Wakanda. move one card here for a random player. Could be a different player each turn. Nice. Or not. 
Word on the street is that we're getting two new features for Marvel Snap. Weekend yep, missions and yep. a daily offer reward system. Both of which are new ways to get tokens that you can use for new cards. Conquest. And this was off the record, but we'll be getting our first ever direct to Series 4 cards that you won't want to miss. Straight to Series My 4. source says more changes are on the way, but they're not quite ready to share just yet. It's almost time to conclude our expose, but first, an exclusive interview with one of the developers of Marvel Snap, Ben Broad from Earth 1218. How you been, Ben? I've oh, been good. How you been, Ben? Thank you for ben good. Infinite Conquest. Thanks for asking. Oh, I wanted to see it. Can you tell our readers about Conquest Mode? Oh, man. Conquest Mode is a brand new ultra competitive mode in Marvel Snap. We've already released the ability to battle against friends, where you each play a series of games till one player okay. deals 10 damage to the other. But in Conquest, you'll be playing battles against online opponents for exciting new prizes. Oh. Tell us about the difficulty levels. You start in the Proving Grounds. Earth's and if 18. you can win a single battle, you'll be rewarded with a ticket to the Silver Conquest. If you win two in a row in the Silver Conquest, cost gold. you'll Damn. win a ticket to the Gold Conquest. And if you win three games in the Gold Conquest, then you'll earn a ticket to the Infinity Conquest. Mm. It's only available during the final week of the season. What do you get for winning the Infinity Conquest? Well, for each conquest you win, you'll earn medals that you can spend in the Conquest Shop. But if you can win the Infinity Conquest, you'll upgrade the avatar you used to an Infinity Border avatar. The Infinity Conquest is not for the faint of heart. This is what the best players have been saving their tickets for all month. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing this with our readers. Thank you so much for reading and staying informed. Here at Marvel Snap, we love to share the inside scoop on what we're doing. You gotta love Until Marvel next Snap. Time, stay snappy, friends. All right. Well, I guess that's the scoop for now. Watch out for next month's edition where we cover more Marvel Snap. Oh, he's an anomaly. All right, let's go back through here. There's a lot that we need to break down. There was a lot of information here that we can break down. The new Miles variant is fucking sick. Ghost Spider entering the game is lit. Let's get to the Ghost Spider part. All right, those information on here. Uh, new season details. New York 1610, a thrilling turn of events. Second Diner. Three on Gaming Studio. Critic Game Members is gearing up for exclusive new season. Today, I am delighted to share an exclusive sneak peek into what promise to be all inspiring announcements that will leave fans on the edge of their seats. Brace yourselves for something truly remarkable. I think I'm going to just play it in slow mo so I can read it all. Uh, for, for truly brace yourselves for truly remarkable. The Chief Development Officer at Second Dinner is my privilege to be entrusted with this tantalizing information. The anticipation surrounding the new season of Marvel Snap has been building up for months, but fans are eagerly speculating what the future holds and what they believe for the beloved game. Well, let me assure you that your patience is about to be rewarded in ways you can never have managed. Our team at Second Dinner has been working tirelessly to create experience that will redefine, redefine the boundaries of gaming. We have poured our hearts and souls into the season, fueled by our passion for all things Marvel. From early count, uh, conceptualization stages to the long touch, the final touches, every step has been meticulously crafted to ensure unforgettable adventures for players. Nice. So, that's their opening uh, statement to us. And we now got Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider's Spook Snappers. Unrevealed, the last card you played moves here. A new superhero has emerged in our city, capturing the attention of citizens and perplexing photographers. Known as Ghost Spider, this enigmatic figure has quickly became a hot topic of discussion due to uncanny ability to evade capture. With these past and moment, Ghost Spider exhibits her unparalleled agility by vanishing to the blink of an eye, leaving photographers and spectators scratching their heads. Ghost Spider possesses an extraordinary power that allows her to leap to a different location whenever a card is played nearby. This unique ability has made her elusive and mysterious figure, leaving onlookers in awe and crime fighters puzzled. However, not everyone is thrilled with Ghost Spider's unconventional approach to justice. Welcome to our local father, John Anderson, who voices worries about the impact Ghost Spider might have in impressionable young minds. While I appreciate the idea of a superhero protecting our city, I think Ghost Spider sets a bad example for our children. Instead of touching them, Teaching them to confront and face their problems head on, she encourages them to run away and avoid confrontation. And she concerns that echoes to those of the other parents who fear the ghost spider's constant invasion since Ron mentioned by problem solving resilience. They argue that children should learn to stand their ground and face challenges directly, 
rather than relying on the escape tactics employed with elusive superior. However, not all residents share Anderson's concerns. Many of the ghost buyers a symbol hope, freedom, applauding her ability to outwit criminals and protecting innocent supporters. Argue that her unorthodox approach as an element of excitement and treats the superhero narrative make a refreshing addition to the Pathian and crime fighting legends. Despite the controversy surrounding her methods, Ghost Spider has undeniably made an impact on our city. Reports that reduced crime rates and successful authority robberies have increased since her arrival. Citizens, through divided in opinions, can agree in one thing. Ghost Spider's presence has sparked a lively debate about the role of superheroes and shaping the values and attitudes as youth. As Ghost Spiders continue to operate in the shadows, one thing remains certain. Her actions are a catalyst for discussion. Whether she is held as a guardian, an angel, or seen as a problematic example, her presence raises important questions for children. All right, cards caught in Ghost Spider's web. So this is interesting. All right, the Enigma Ghost Spider has left the trail of, un of immo immobile cards caught in a metaphoric web. These cards left behind of several concerned citizens in a state of fear and ease. Though it would be wise, as scary as both as a spider and a ghost, Ghost Spider's actions have ignited curiosity and apparition within the local community. Eyewitness reports stumbling upon the unusual sight of Marble Snap cards suspended in locations seemingly frozen in time. The sight has caused unease among the residents. The stationary cards give off an eerie atmosphere that aligns with Ghost Spider's persona. That concerns citizens who wish to remain anonymous expresses her fear that, uh, of the unexpected and mysterious display, emphasizing an unsettling combination of portraying both a spider and a ghost. Psychologists and paranormal experts have weighed in on the situation and <laughs> wielding the air to fear associated with spiders and ghosts. I mean, psychology and human psychology, Dr. Daniel Castellis, renowned expert in the fear in fear studies explains that the combination of ghost spiders characteristics triggers a primal fear response in the concerned citizens and others who share similar anxieties. The blend of supernatural and recognized abilities elicits deep seated unease taped into the primal instincts and generating a sense of foreboding. The authorities are yet to offer explanation for ghost spiders' actions. Some speculate this could be deliberate to act to send a message a symbol of vigilance to the presence in the city. Move decks will never be the same. The introduction of Ghost Spider has sparked a move, a wave of excitement about, among some, including Miles Morales, while leaving others like Heimdall disappointed with her unique ability. Because she does... So, Miles is great. Miles is always going to be a one because of Ghost Spider. Right? Because she's going to move. Now, whenever you play her, Miles will come immediately after, as it should be. Uh, Heimdall is going to move everybody. But if she moves one card, every time she moves, then you have to play her next to Heimdall. Because if not, then she's just going to randomly move cards. So that's very interesting. Uh, Ghost Spider has a highly anticipated addition to Marvel Snap scene. Brings an unprecedented twist to the move decks. Miles Morales can't hide his assignment about Ghost Spider. She's a game changer, Morales explained. Her ability to move every single turn opens a whole new world of possibilities. It's... Okay, it's the next page. Oh, uh, we moved. Okay, so yeah, so Ghost Spider has been moving, moves a lot, <laughs> as we can see here. Let's go back. She will, she can, she moves immediately. She moves another card with her. So she pretty. I don't even have the Human Torch, unfortunately. I don't know, right? So she moves another card with her. So she moves them always. You moving? She's moving with you. You're moving, buddy. She's gonna move you, which is pretty dope. Cause she she just pulling shit, yo. She's literally just out here pulling shit. And I think that's pretty awesome. Because she can like just give you the power you need to survive. Now, Human Torch reacts to Ghost Spider, so that's good. And like again, you can play Miles. The question is, is how does it work time? If she's in the middle. And you move her, Heimdall's in her far right. Will she move Heimdall? I don't know. Very interesting to see. But she's a really good movement card. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next part here. The variants look pretty cool. We're fine with that. Yeah, the variants look pretty cool. Silk is a great addition to the game. And let's get into Silk, because Silk is awesome. I've been waiting on her since we data mined her in uh, Miguel. I didn't know Spider Ham did that. That's pretty dope. After any enemy card is played here, this moves to another location. So, Silk is just one of several new cards that won't you won't want to miss this season. Silk has the most finely tuned spider sense of anyone who has a power or abilities that any other card played where she is moves to another location. Where great power comes great mobility. Silk can rock it across the board turn after turn. She can swing 
into Kunlun for plus two over and over, or sneak into location like Sanctum Satora, those are that are otherwise tricky. So she can, yeah, so she can move every turn, right? Anywhere. So she's kind of like Nightcrawler, but no, she can do it every turn though. Is out there any card display here where she is? She moves in the location. That's fucking dope. Does that also work with a uh, with uh, squirrels? So can she just go? So if you want to just keep moving silk, you just keep playing cards, and she'll just keep going. Well, she randomizes where she moves, right? Okay. Yeah, so she randomizes where she moves, but you can keep moving silk. By playing other cards. Interesting. She has some pretty solid mechanics. She has some pretty solid mechanics. She's like a guarantee you can you can pretty much oh Spider Gwen and Spider Gwen's gonna pull her back, right? Spider Gwen's gonna pull her oh she knows she moved her all the way over there, but she will she pull her back? That's a real question. I don't see Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen's gonna pull somebody, right? There's a Miles. What's the explanation here? I guess Spider Gwen. No, she didn't pull her. She didn't pull her. She got away from Spider Gwen. That's so fucking interesting. That is so fucking interesting. Silk is fucking interesting. She's gonna take some play. Miguel O'Hara, Mr. Destruction himself. Spider-Man 2099, the first time this moves to location, destroy enemy card there. There's a bunch of other great cards launched in the season, including Spider-Man 2099. Also known as Miguel O'Hara. He's an awesome Spider-Man from the future who's here to tear fools up. First time he moves to location, he destroy enemy card there. This card might be the most dangerous addition to the move deck. Use Iron Fist to spring a surprise attack on drop or drop Ghost Spider after 29 to fire a targeted web blast at your opponent's toughest card. Just the threat of his attack might be enough to snap your enemy into a retreat. He's also a great counter magneto. Fucking Miguel. It's great he is great he is a uh, problem for they run a move deck still but he is great i don't like miguel he don't be able to do nothing against no galactus though but miguel is fire so yeah he does he does actually work pretty well kill that damn dinosaur gg gg oh fucking miguel yeah, Miguel's nice. Spider Ham's probably the funnest one. Spider Ham's hilarious. So his ability is pretty much straightforward. He's going to take away the enemy's abilities. And turn him into a pig. He get the highest cost card in their hand. He turns it into a pig. Transform the highest cost card in your opponent's hand into a pig. Keeping his power and cost. Originally a spider. Named Peter has turned into a pig after being bitten by a radiated pig. It turns for the highest cost card in your opponent's hand into a pig, but keeps its power and cost. This disruptive card can swing way above his weight class. Snap your opponent's highest cost card. Turns into an anamorphic pig. Minus his superpowers. This is a great tool. Because Apocalypse, Dr. Doom and Galactus. Turn him into useless strips of bacon. However, he's not so great against the Infinite. But he is also good against the high evolutionary decks. It's going to turn him into a fucking pig. That's lit. So you don't want to play him on turn one. Right? You don't want to play him on turn one. But he's... I mean, like you could, I guess. If you, but you got to get lucky. You got to get lucky. But they're guaranteed to have a pig. And that's going to be fucking annoying. <laughs> that's going to be annoying. Um, and then we also got new locations coming. Let's talk about them. Uh, May, first card you play here gets three plus power and moves. Ha, cha, 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 cha. That is dope. Okay, you play Vulture on Aunt May. That thing is going to be buffed. That's a three for Vulture already getting uh, power from moving, right? Um, so he's going to get a three plus a move, which is another three. So bingo, bango, whiskey, tango. Great card. Um, Ultra is also going to might actually make multiple man playable again. It might make multiple man playable. I know he's been he's been outplayed uh, for past couple series. If you give your if you're out of series two, multiple man's not playable. But if you can get to the higher series, 
Mm. And it also helps the human torch as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, the Great Web. After each turn, move one card to, to the web for a random player. Now, the Great Web is literally... Ha, ha, ha! Movement greatness! So, if you got a Vulture and there's a Great Web on the map, never play them there. You're good to go. If you got a Human Torch, don't play them. Um, you got Miguel, don't play them on the web. Oh my gosh, you just leave the web open? Oh my god, dude. And it's just brutal. For movement decks, finally have made a return. I got most of the movement cards, even, and that's great. Even better, Kingpin the Great Web. You Kingpin the Great Web and just like do it on a four or a five turn? Ugh, Chef Kiss, they're fucked. They're just fucked. So most people are going to fill up the Great Web, which is good. Which you you gotta want that to happen. That's why you also want to put Craven on the Great Web. Put Craven on the Great Web. You put Craven on the Great Web, and they they're gonna have to move there. They have no choice. They're gonna have to move there. They're gonna have to play there. Doesn't matter which one they do. Craven's going to fucking just be there chilling, and you're gonna have two other locations that's gonna be yours. Spider people are. Ooh, make it move, make it move back, and I'm loving it, man. I love move got left behind. Move has some tricky plays with Magneto and Arrow, 100%. But whew, move got left behind. All right, and that was the locations we got. The new locations: Aunt May, Great Web, and we got a bunch of new variants. And now let's talk about the most exciting part here: is conquest mode. All right, even more to come. Let's let's check this out. Word on the street is that we're getting two new features for Marvel Snap, weekend missions and a daily off reward system, both of which are new ways to get tokens and that you can use for new cards. And this was off the record, but we'll be getting our first ever direct to series four cards that you won't, you won't want to miss. My source says more changes are on the way, but not quite ready to share just yet. Sit, snap, sit down with Ben Brook. It's almost time to conclude our expose our expose, but first an exclusive interview, one of the developers of Marvel Snap, Ben Brody from Earth 1218. How you been, Ben? <laughs> been good. How you been, Ben? Been good. Thanks for asking. Can you tell our readers about Conquest Mode? Oh man, Conquest Mode is a brand new ultra competitive mode in Marvel Snap. We've already released the ability to battle against friends where you each play a series of games until one player deals 10 damage to the other. But Conquest, you're playing battles against online opponents for exciting new prizes. Now let's get on to what the other Ben has to say about these exciting new prizes. Now the Series 4 cards we've seen as direct is going to be Spider-Ham and Spider-Man 2099, so we all get to get those immediately. But I want to get to this conquest. So let's kind of sneak in here and see what they show us. Now they're being real sneaky, but not showing us a lot. They got the uh, I love the uh, the Jeff. Like if you pay close attention, the uh, back of the newspaper here is going to show Jeff chilling and getting a grilled cheese sandwich and a sourdough or something like this. Like recipe sourdough, yellow mustard, medium cheese, lots of butter. Tips, don't put too much on it, spread the edge, don't skip on the good grills. Like, it's a fucking food recipe, which is hilarious. And, okay. Talk about difficulty levels. We can only take what we can here, because they don't give us a whole whole thread, but we'll try to fill in the worlds here. Uh, some, some, some of the proven grounds, if you can win a match, you'll be rewarded with a ticket to the silver. For bronze, start the proven grounds, you win a match in bronze, you'll be rewarded with a ticket to silver. And you win silver, you win two in a row, the silver conquest, you'll be ticket to gold conquest. And if you win three gold conquests, you're on a ticket to this uh, infinite conquest, which will be available during the end of the season. What do you get for winning infinite? In the conquest, you'll earn medals that you can spend in the conquest shop. But if you can win the conquest, you'll upgrade the avatar you use to a, uh, infinite conquest to, you know, avatar. The infinite conquest is not for the weak at heart. This is what the best players have been saving their tickets for all month. Uh, some, some thanks for sharing with our readers. Thanks so much for reading and staying informed. I'm Snap. We'll share the inside. Uh, what's going on? What we're doing until next time. Stay snappy. All right, so that's what we got. Now let's actually look at it. So we're glad we read it. So we got all the information in front of us. Now, this is what it looks like. So, Conquest is just like there's going to be a, a fee to play. So, enter everybody gets entered bronze for free. There's the shop, silver medal, medals, and silver tickets. This is the Silver Conquest, 80 interest fee, 120 medals, one gold ticket. The Infinite Conquest, 200 gold interest fee, one Infinity ticket, 370 medals. 
and let's take a look at the shop. They gave us a brief on a shop. I'm going to play the shop really slow so we can kind of break down what the shop's going to look like. They did give us a brief look at the shop. If I can find it. I think it passed it. I might have passed it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. We got to go really slow here. So let's put it on the slowest. Oh, this is the slowest. Damn it. All right. So this is the slowest we got. Let's try to look at the shop here. All right. So. There's an exclusive card, a 09 purchase below to earn. So, you, so that's the thing. Do you want to get the variants? You got to purchase stuff in the shop. There's credits. There's another go ticket. Which why are you purchasing a go ticket? Is that because you lost? <laughs> Is that because you lost and you want to purchase a go ticket? That's wild to me because you get one for free. Are you some medals on it? Or do you, if you don't win, you lose? You got to start all over. There's boosters, more credits, infinite tickets, um, a new avatar for whatever variants up there. And when you win, you get your infinity avatar. Now, I'm sure there was more to the shop than they showed us because they didn't show us the very bottom. Oh, maybe that is it. Maybe that is it. Oh, yep, see, gold. Okay, mystery variant, silver tickets. Okay, hold on, let's try to get that one more time. Keep our eye on the shop here. So we get all the information. Okay, mystery variants for 100. Silver ticket for 50. Uh, 150 credits for 150. A new title. Oops, a new title. Some boosters because there's the Green Goblin cards up there. You get gold for 450. And these are top rewards then. Okay, yeah, those are top rewards. Okay, so whatever the variant is, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. But if winning only nets us... What was the net for winning each each uh, each one? Because it was only like what? I think they said it was... There you go. Yeah, but the medals are not that much. If you need to shop nine... Do you get to play those conquests over and still win and try to get as many infinity tickets as possible for many options, many tries? Because what's the point of, um, okay, so what is the point of paying the entrance fee and getting a ticket? If you can't, um, you know, compete. Hmm. Oh, it's very interesting. But this season seems to be pretty badass. Uh, they're, especially with the introduction of Conquest Mode and weekly and daily rewards. So me personally, I'm excited. Hope you are, are you're excited as well. Uh, play some more Marvel Snap. Can't wait to hear from you guys. And I'll uh, check you out in the next video. Peace.